Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is the mini series that we're doing where we sit and talk about different whiskies within the surroundings of our North London allotment. Uh, so uh, today you join me on uh, the start of September and uh, it's really the first day where it really has started to feel a little bit autumnal up here. Um, I've got the sunflowers behind me and everything's still going strong but just a slight change in the weather is it, yeah. Just a little bit, a uh, little bit autumnal, as I say. But of course, I am here for the allotment dram. Um, I'm sure, you don't want to hear about weather and everything else. You want to hear about whiskey. And what have I picked today? Well, today I've picked an Irish whiskey, and it's the Sexton uh, single malt. So uh, this is uh, a new brand. It came out what two, possibly three years ago, and it's one of this sort of wave of new. Irish whiskey products uh, that have sort of appeared on the market over the, the last sort of uh, two or three years. So it's 100% uh, made of 100% Irish malt. It's triple distilled and has then had four years, uh, so it's a four-year-old whiskey, it's had four years in the ex Oloroso sherry casks from uh, sourced from Jerez in Spain. So all it says about where it's made is that so a lot of these distilleries, they, you know, they, they don't have a distillery themselves, so they, they source the whiskey from elsewhere. And all this one says uh, for Sexton is that it's from the north coast of County Antrim, which kind of, if you know your whiskey geography um, in Ireland, then it does sort of narrow it down. And the, the oldest distillery in Ireland, if um, that would be my guess, but uh, you can draw your own conclusions. So uh, what do we have here? Let's have a look at the Sexton uh, single malt. Uh, it said 40% uh, it's bottled at. Now let's have a look at the whiskey itself. So you see this lovely sort of copper gold colour. Yeah, absolutely uh, yeah, quite, quite vibrant uh, sort of colour there. Obviously coming from these uh, Oloroso Oloroso sherry casks that it's been in, been maturing in. So that's that's quite a classic colour for Oloroso uh, cask matured whisky. Um, let's have a smell and a taste, shall we? Yeah, so this has a lovely sort of sweetness to it. it. Smells quite light for a sherry cask whisky actually, and it then has this. Yeah, sort of the dried fruit, slight nuttiness that you would um, expect from uh, sherry, Oloroso sherry cast matured whiskies in particular. But then, yeah, then it has this lovely um, bit of honey, golden syrup, or you know, sort of uh, some sort of sugar syrup, something like that. But also a lovely, slightly tropical fruit nature that you tend to get with. Uh, single malt Irish whiskies as well so yeah something like uh, like some pineapple slightly overripe or, or maybe some like apricot and peach I, I always get it and you know I, I can't, almost can't get away from it so but it is it, definitely there on this one let's let's have a taste Again, it's quite light, it's quite fresh, it's quite vibrant, and not really. Wow, there you go, there are those parrots again. Some of you will have uh, they live, live quite close, sort of around here, and this is what I love. You see the wildlife and everything, and, and some of you who watch this regularly will have seen that these, these parrots just keep interrupting me, but they never stop me, by the way. But here we go. There we are. But anyway, what have we got in the taste? As I was saying, you know, it is quite light, quite fresh, quite vibrant, which of course you get with, with young whiskies. This, this is only four years old. But um, then you've got this sort of, sort of deeper flavours. Uh, again, this dried fruit, this sort of golden syrup. And then there's a bit of this sort of other fruitiness that we were talking about, this sort of overripe tropical fruits but in particular for me there's this lovely um, sort of apricot jam or, or compote something like that let's have another taste yeah 
Yeah, it's quite delicious. It's uh, really impressive. You know, as a first whiskey for a brand, you know, you have to you have to go carefully because if you get it wrong, then you can ruin your brand forever. But this one, you know, is, is they've done really well, and obviously they've they've thought a lot about the design as well. I mean, this look at this. It's like a six sided bottle, and you know, pretty funky with it. You know, sort of like ridges and sort of graphic, uh, very sort of highly graphic design sort of feel to it but uh, yeah absolutely you know great as a as a sort of first whiskey of a brand so you know what else can I say you know search it out if you're a fan of Irish whiskey search it out if you haven't you know be great sort of uh, drinking on its own like this or you know as with all brands these days they they like to sort of suggest things to mix it with or in cocktails but um that's about it from me and the, the Sexton Irish Single Malt. So until next time, I will speak to you again soon. Cheers. Thanks for watching.